yeah, the title isn't actually clickbait as much as I want it to be. I set myself on fire. Now, you guys may have some questions. Is it true? Are you dumb? Is it all fake? And to answer those questions, yes, yes, and no. So I won't hold any longer and here's the tragic tale of how I, lovely, burned alive. So if I'm doing my mathematical calculations correctly, then I should have been like in the fifth, maybe sixth grade when this went down. Well, as per usual, there was a party at my aunt's house and my family and I went over to, you know, party. And while everyone was outside eating something, I remember being in a room with, as you figured, just one single candle. So I think you know where this is going. But whatever you're thinking, that's not the reason. It gets even dumber, I assure you. So before I went into the room, I remember my parents telling me straight up, don't play with the fire, it's too hot and it'd burn you. And while I was beginning to hit that age where teen angst kicks in or something, so I was like, I'm not gonna let you tell me what I can and can't do. So I decided to test something. First, I got toilet paper and put it near the candle. As expected, it caught on fire and I ran with the paper so I can see the wind velocity and the flame and how much it take to put out the flame by per second. And I don't mean to brag, but in my elementary school days, I used to be second place math wizard, so safe to say I was able to do math in order to figure out the safest amount of time I had before I start to burn. So, after numerous attempts of doing that, I decided to go for it and I placed my shirt onto the candle flame and it caught on fire. At first, I did the running method and it didn't work and I felt sharp pain on my hips. And let me tell you, in my science experiment to see if fire was hot, it indeed was hot. <laughs> what about stop, drop, and roll? Well, if I did that, I would have rolled onto a highly flammable carpet, and pretty much the whole room was easily flammable, so there was no stopping, dropping, or rolling. So I went to the closest thing. I went to the bathroom, conveniently like two steps away, I'm not even joking, and opened the faucet and proceeded to grab water and pat it against the burning skin. And after I did that, I looked in the mirror and saw that the flame was out on my hip and also my finger was on fire, so that was pretty cool. So after I watered that down, I saw my little cousin just saw his older cousin looking like he got jumped at the back of the CVS, so he went to grab the adult and I hid under the bed. Why, you may ask? Because I was scared of getting in trouble for ruining my shirt. It was my favorite shirt too. Anyways, after that, I made it known that I burned myself alive. They immediately rushed me to the hospital while my brother was still watching the knockoff Flintstone. Anyways, I'm on those like movable beds getting rushed to a room or something and the nurse, man, I'll never forget her, bro. She came to me and she holded the cat, the chart, whatever. She holded that thing and was like, on a scale of one to 10, how badly does it hurt? While I was crying and bawling and all this other stuff. So I was like, yeah, I would say a one if you ask me. I barely even noticed I was on fire. I thought it was the case of the Mondays, if you know what I mean. So after some time, I get treated for this burning wound and yeah, I'm still alive. And now I have this scarf for life that's also on my character. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, yeah, moral of the story, fire is really hot and you should never do that at home. Not because I'm a professional, but because I'm really just stupid. Anyways, what do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, before I let you go, I have a Discord server that you guys are free to join. Link is in the description and at the moment it's a dead server but I promise I'll revive it eventually. If you join you get notified of any time I post a new video and see some behind the scenes stuff sometimes. And who knows there might be an exclusive event or two so yeah join if you want. Anyways this is Novely logging off.